So there's a bunch of contractors around the country who aren't bothering with all this Google website lead generation stuff. They're actually just making their own leads and they're doing it by going door to door. Immediately, half of you watching this are gonna turn off this video and go watch something else because the idea of going door to door sounds crazy to you. But bear with me for a few minutes because I think this is a huge opportunity that you can't afford to pass up. So let's just take two examples from the past year in my own personal life. My father, he's a contractor, he's a pretty frugal guy, and he's been sold twice in the last year by door-to-door -door salesmen. The first one was somebody selling gutter screens that go along your gutters to keep leaves and stuff from falling in. And they just so happened to knock on his door on a day when he was thinking about how much he didn't want to clean out his gutters. The guy knocked on his door just at the right time, was able to make a $10,000 sale. Now this just happened again the other day. A guy was going door to door, knocked on my dad's door. His offer was, hey, I'll give you a free roof inspection and I'll file the claim with your insurance company and I might be able to replace your entire roof without any cost to you. And that was an offer that was interesting enough for my dad to let him into the house, let him onto the roof and let him do a quote. And we'll see how that turns out. But for the most part, when people go door to door, you're getting the, the answer no most of the time, which is just fine. But what we found lately is we've been going door to door for the last month looking for people who want to sell their homes. So you can imagine, you know, in the last month, there's been about 300 homes sold in this city of 400,000 people. Not a lot of people who we're gonna knock on who are interested in selling their house. Despite this, we have about a 10% opportunity rate. That means we knock on 100 doors, we have 10 people who are open to talking to us about selling their home. And this number kind of blew me away. It's way beyond what I expected. I was thinking maybe like one or two out of 100, not 10 out of 100, that's 10%. And so it got me thinking, you know, if I was selling something else, like if I was a contractor that needed more work, how would it work going door to door? And so I started looking into it. There's another guy on YouTube, I forget what his name is, but we'll link him in the description. He does door to door sales uh, doing window cleaning. And this guy cleans up, like no pun intended, but he just goes and knocks on doors and he's able to get sales every single day. This is an idea I gave to one of my clients. He just got his first sale through his brand new website and this person happened to be like three minutes from his house. And with everything else going on, I thought, you know, you should go knock on all the neighbor's doors and let them know, hey, I'm, I'm replacing Sally's floor down the street. I was just wondering if you uh, were thinking about getting your floors replaced. And he's gonna go do that around his entire neighborhood. And I'll report back to you on the stats, but I guarantee you he's gonna get some projects out of that. And for a lot of you guys who, you don't have a lot of money to invest, or maybe you've, you've been trying this online marketing stuff for a while and it's just not working. You know, get a couple t-shirts made, get a hat made, get some business cards, and go knock on some doors. Because I guarantee you knock on 100 doors, you're gonna get a job or two. And if you can be personable, presentable, people are gonna like you. They're gonna refer you to their friends and their family. You know, it won't be long before you have a book of clients built up just from you going and knocking on some doors. And one of the best things about this method is you get instant feedback. If you go knock on 10 doors and everybody takes a quick look at you and they say, no, get the hell off my property, it's probably has something to do with you unless you're in like a really weird neighborhood. And so that's good feedback. That means you can go back, you can work on your appearance, you can hit it again next time and try to overcome that. And then let's say that you've got your appearance down you go knock on some more doors, but you're fumbling for your words. You don't know what to say. Write out some things that you can say. But at the end of the day, you're really just talking to people. When they answer the door, ask them how they're doing, let them know what you have to offer. And if they say no, that's just fine. Mark them off your list. But most of them are gonna talk to you. You can have a conversation with them. You can leave them a business card and you can ask them if they know anybody that needs your services. You go knock on a hundred doors, you might talk to 25 people, I guarantee you, you will get a job out of that. If you don't come back, I'll give you a hundred bucks.